good afternoon so today it's another new day welcome back to my channel subscribe comment if you haven't already done that but today i am bringing you the streets of cotonou so i'm going to show you a tour of cotonou and i'm hoping you'll enjoy it let's see what cotonou has for us <laughs> my tour guide Like most African cities, Cotonou is divided into two. We have the downtown where there's more people and a lot of um, things. <laughs> and uh, we have the uptown which is less people, a lot neater and a lot more organized. And these two will start with the downtown and then I'll show you the uptown. And in those streets you have... Uh, some prostitution at night. Uh, oh. There are lots of immigrants living here. Oh. Yeah. in Cotonou like if you're visiting Cotonou then you need to visit it it was built in uh, 1901 which means it's like 122 years old now and it just serves as a local church there's nothing much to it but if you're in Cotonou then it's a good place to stop by and it's an actual church so if you're here be respectful of course yeah <laughs> it's not just a tourism spot Inside the church, mm -hmm. have a look. over there there's an Italian ice cream shop just behind us and then it opens to a very lovely bridge that I'm about to show you the other day and there you have it There's 
Jason. The bridge has a name. The most common mode of transport are the KK <laughs> motorcycles and they wear yellow in Cotonou. In each city they wear different colors and so if you're in Cotonou and you want to hail one of them, just look at the people who are in uh, yellow. There are many, many motors in Cotonou. It's chaotic in most of the times even people themselves um, buy them so you're gonna find so many of them on the street but some of them are just for personal use they'll be mostly like the scooters and then you'll have the actual motorcycles where people are use for commute so if you want to actually hail one then look at the people with the taxis not just any of them and they are relatively safe <laughs> i never had an accident on any so I uh, you can count my word on that. Another popular landmark in Kotonu is the Grand Mosque in Zongo, so you can pop by and visit and see it. One of the most common things in downtown that you'll see is that there'll be a lot of people sitting on the cabs. Uh, most of them or some of them are homeless, some of them are families and they're sitting there, some are selling merchandise and others are just sleeping on the street and that's quite common in Kotonu, especially in the downtown areas. Also in downtown, the roads will be paved like the main roads, but the moment you want to get into like the roads that take you to the shops and the homes, then they are unpaved and it's like this all over Cotonou in the downtown area. And then you have the graffiti wall where artists draw stuff and uh, it's quite interesting you just take a moment to see it so if you're in cotonou just take a moment 
and drive through here and see how awesome the art is. There are many marketplaces in Kotonu, like the one on the right side, where people will be selling things. You'll see a lot of people carrying things on their head to sell, and uh, that's very common. And then on the just uh, close to that is also the Dangtobo market. Also on the right side of the video, it's pretty, pretty chaotic. Um, I didn't get a foot video of it. I'm sorry about that. But you can get the gist of it from just where we are right now. So there are many motorcycles and many cars. Most of them carrying things on top. A lot of uh, people carrying things on their head. And I have no idea how they stand. And they are heavy. It's not just like small things. So... <laughs> quite impressive but make sure you visit Dantobo market they have everything that you might be looking for you'll find it here and uh, it's quite an impressive one it's also the largest open air market in West Africa from what I read and so yeah it has its own rights <laughs> And now on to the side of the uptown where the streets are cleaner, less people and much more paved everywhere you go. And that's just a mark of any town or city in Africa so far at least, that's what I've seen. And you can tell the difference from the word go. There is the only mall in uh, Kotonu, one big mall, and uh, it has a huge supermarket. And then in Uptown, you'll also see nice houses with mansions with uh, the walls and also nice fences, green ones sometimes, and it's very different from downtown. And the absolutely last thing you have to do is to take a drive by the road, by the beach in Fitch Rosay. It's just one side on the beach and it's quite lovely. Another landmark is a building on the right which is currently serving as the COVID center so if you're visiting Cotonou you'll have to go there at some point. And since Cotonou is still developing expect to find a lot of construction along the road and a lot of sometimes roads are closed so whenever you want to go anywhere make sure you, you give yourself time just in case the road is closed. And that officially marks the end of our Cotonou tour. I hope you liked the video and I hope now you've seen a little bit more of Cotonou. 
I would like to know in the comments how many people knew Kotonu before they saw this video or you saw the video and you were like, what is a Kotonu? Now, there is the city, you know about it. Subscribe, like, comment, share, and see you next time. Whew. Now I can breathe. And special thanks to this guy over here. Yeah. For taking me around the city. You're welcome. <laughs>